broadcasting in Louisville, the king of talk radio, Milton El Mezzo Metz, has announced he'll be ending his long-running Metz here call-in show. His urbane charm, quick wit, and unequal popularity have made him a pillar of local broadcasting for some 44 years. It's our pleasure to have him in the studio with us tonight. <laughs> Good evening, Milton. It's nice to see you again. That's great. What a nice... You know, I'm not dead. I'm just going on... <laughs> <laughs> My wife wants to see what I look like in the daytime, Vicki. All right, now she'll get the chance. You say you're going to have your talk show for a couple more months, then what happens? All right, about the middle of July, uh, when vacations are over, Limbaugh's coming to the station, uh, we're going to have a switch at night. Uh, my colleague and friend Doug McGovern will take over the nighttime show, put his own imprint on it, and I'll go on to doing things that we've arranged with the station. I'll do a daily commentary, I'll do special events, here and in other cities, and I'll do my celebrity interviews. As long as I, you know, they offered me Connie Chung or get off at the night time, <laughs> so I decided to work uh, days. That tells the truth, Milton. Is this something that you're really wanting to do? Well, I'm glad you asked me that because, as you know, in our business, there is so much change, and invariably, when you have a major programming change, somebody's nose gets out of joint. It, it just happens that way in show business or broadcasting somebody's feelings are bruised. In this case, I must say that the management was extremely sensitive to my feelings. I thought after 33, 34 years, I had been up till midnight long enough, in fairness to my wife and the fact that I like to move on to new things, and it was no longer a novelty to be a talk show host on radio. It was really a, a a win-win situation. Everybody seems to be very happy about Milton, it. you've seen a lot take place on the Louisville airwaves over the years. Looking back now from your perspective, what have those changes brought and how is radio different, not just from the technical side, but from the people side of the story? Two things have happened, especially in the work that I do. One is you've seen a great proliferation of talk shows. You know, my mailman's going to start a talk show <laughs> next week. It's almost that commonplace. The other thing is that uh, topics that once were on the blacklist were verboten you know, talking about intimate mm -hmm. uh, domestic relations or uh, medical things or sexual things that used to be by the board, now are open season for it. There's one other thing. People can call in and say ugly things uh, anonymously. That is a little bit disturbing, and that's happening. Milton Metz, nice for you to join us tonight on the 5 o'clock report. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're winding down the week in fine fashion on this Thursday. How are things shaping up?